Hey, gang. Welcome to my life. Hold on. Let me turn the music off. Wouldn't want to get anybody's licensing panties in a knot. Uh, Reverend, I am pretty sure that you cannot say that. And yet it's been said. Uh, hey, hi. What's going on? Oh, so let's do it. Shall we do it? Are you ready? Hey, gang. Welcome to my life where anything is possible and nothing is as it seems. I'm Freedom. And I'll be your host. Coming at you from the depths of Geistopia. Welcome to my life. It's a project, an experiment in life on art. I live in Storybot, if you did. Each premise is that life is experiential on that you can on do experience the life you choose. It is based on the use of the wheel of life on the ask for the new millennium is life building tools. Yeah, it's true. Had a little bit of old timers there. Welcome to my life is an ITV Studios Geist House Players production in association with the Center for Creative Inspirationalism. Just as Productions, the parent company would like to give a shout out to the following for their ongoing and oft times unknowing inspiration and support. Princess Gumbug, Princess Sunshine, Creation Company, The Shaman, The Pillar, F and Bob, The Ender, but, but, Butter Clan, Fairy Princess, Professor Siggy Chong, Hoagie Snowflake, Sparky Wenceslas, The Van Man, and General Ralph Classic, may they rest in peace. The Loots, The Basset Hound, Bert Dawn, The Baker, The Cornbread, Andy Pandy, The Mutter, Zason, Old Danny Boy, Saint Diane, and Youth, Brother John, Thing One and Thing Two, The Nameless One, The White Girl, The Anomaly, Oh, the quitter. All the people in my neighborhood. Good man, Charlie Brown, The Rocks, TCPA, the PA, F and AM, PDT, Chanel number no. five, Superstar, Sir Richard Slouch, The Wixians, The Socialite, Pizzniffer, The Village of Idiots, Dancing Queen, Downtown Encyclopedia Brown, The Legendary Pink Elephants, Baby Mama Rabbit, My Wisconsin Belle, The Babes, and of course, a very generous sponsor who not so much wishes to remain anonymous. It is Sunday, November 24th, 2019. Time elevated, enlightened. Sure, whatever, we can go with that one too. It starts with B. Why not, right? So, hey, hi, what's going on? How do you tell the story? Which story do you tell? I could tell a thousand stories on how we got from there to here. Every moment counts, every moment matters. This is my struggle for words right now because it's just been a day. It's not unlike any other day I've ever had, but it's been a day. It's been a glorious day, it's been a splendid day, it's been a hard day. It's just, it's been a day. A day in the life of. A thousand and one thoughts. I had them all, driving from where I was to where I am. And I thought I had a video all set and ready to go, but you know, you ground a little, you shift a little, and now I find myself here without the words. One of the things I observed as I was driving and thinking, as much as things change, they stay the same. So true in my life, because as much as things have changed, and things have changed many times, But within this, there has been lots of this. That'd make a hell of an amusement park ride. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been on one. <laughs> that was your marriage. Oh, God. Oh, put him away. Put him away.
them away, put them away. <coughs> Another Broadway reference, I see. Yeah, but only a partial one. Anyway, uh, it, as much as things have changed, certain things have remained constant. And by things, I way in which my life functions. It doesn't change. Even in dire circumstances. It doesn't change. It is what it is, and it does what it does. And it's splendid. And I can hear the pillar in the background chuckling to himself. <laughs> he amazes himself. He amazes himself. No, no, no. No, no, I promise you, I can't stress it enough. There is absolutely, positively, nothing amazing about me except perhaps the fact that I have lived as long as I have. <laughs> Believe me, that is something, but me, myself, no. Like if it, if it were up to me, if I were left to my own devices, not only would my life be in complete dire straits more than you may think it is, uh, but the whole world would be. I'd break it all. Because that's what I do. I break things. <laughs> I F it up. <laughs> like, it's just what I do. It's a natural talent. So, no. Any good that is of my life, anything that is amazing or what I consider miraculous in my life is, is definitely outside of me. So my day be bumped along as it does. Uh, I woke up late. I wanted to go to church. I wanted to go to a different church, but I woke up late. Uh, this was okay. Like, it felt good to kind of sleep. And I could have maybe made it, but I would have put myself through a lot of stress trying to get there. Instead, I ended up staying here with Hoagie and Spike and uh, just kind of getting things in order and chilling out and being and doing and whatever. And we had our day and then I was off and running because I had to go look at something. I had to make another stop and pick some stuff up. And then I was going to go visit a friend from high school who, I, who, whom I have not even really spoken to since high school, but he reached out to me and to follow the bouncing ball, right? Like this is one of the things that remains the same. If I really want my life to work, to be blessed, I have to follow the bouncing ball wherever it may lead, whenever it may lead. The day was not as it was originally planned two days ago. <laughs> it's not, it was not as it was planned yesterday, really. It just kind of, but everything perfectly placed. So I went and I looked at this job and I managed to get some stuff for scrapping. So I've got, I'm, I'm starting to accumulate for scrapping. I, I've got a good host of things going on. If you're watching, I'll take more metal. Uh, I'm getting a load, so I might as well take a load. Uh, and I'm probably going to try to go on Tuesday, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't do big stuff. I can't do big stuff. Anyway, uh, so that was two blessings because I've got an opportunity to work and make some money. Uh, they also offered me dinner on Tuesday, so I've got a meal. Plus, I accumulated somebody else's trash that I can now turn into my little bit of treasure. Uh, and that work became more than it was when it, it was originally discussed. So, okay, cool. Amen. Left there, went and made my stop, gathered some stuff together, went to this friend's house. And that was an interesting visit and I'm very glad I made it and I see more of it in the future. Uh, but it turns out I was able to help this friend 
because he's a, an artist without art right now. And I just so happen to have enough stuff sitting in the cave to get him going. It's just sitting there. And I had to go there anyway because the other job requires me to have different shoes than the ones I own. So I had workbook boots in the cave. I sent out an email. I was like, I got to stop. I need these boots. So that trip then. So now I'm bouncing over there where I wasn't planning on going. And that gathers up stuff. Some I wasn't expecting to take a little bit more than maybe I was expecting to take, but okay. Next thing I know that turns into dinner at the putters, uh, which turned into a, an immense blessing and abundance of stuff. Uh, for instance, this jacket. I did not have a winterized jacket, and my understanding is this is supposed to be, so we're going to try it in a minute when I go to take, bring stuff in from the car. Uh, and other stuff, stuff that I can sell, stuff that I can use to as patterns or ideas for stuff I can make to sell. It's just, it's, I came home with boxes, boxes of stuff. It was an abundant day. Here's what's interesting, and this is again, something that has always remained the same. Was I given money? No, but I was given what I needed. This is even interesting because I think I may have mentioned it in a blog somewhere that I didn't have a winter coat, but that if I did, that was like weeks ago. Uh, I haven't really talked about it to anybody. I had my gray hoodie. I was just glad to have that back. Boom, here, you want this? I don't know if it'll fit you, but if it does, it's yours. Well, it fits, so it's mine. And we're gonna see how this all works out. Um, you know what I mean? Like, boom, uh, and, and boxes of stuff, boom. And it just, I was given what I needed and I was given, given opportunities and ways to make money. Oh my God, and we are way, way over. I have to stop. So yeah, wow, that's my day. I, I take from it what you can. You just can't do enough in 10 minutes. If you're not already there, go to the Welcome to My Life Facebook page, WTML, or the YouTube channel, Welcome to My Life. Wherever you are and whenever you are, like, comment, share, please let us know you're there. So without hesitation, from here in Geistopia, this is your beloved Rev. And Walt. Once Doc and Johnny and those guys. Wishing you peace, love, light, and freakishness, baby.